you guys it's Bunlick here and today I'm going to be showing you how to download Minecraft shaders for 1.8.9 this version you do not need forge for it which is pretty weird you just need Optifine and then the shaders pack that I'll provide so the first thing you want to do is click both links in the description it'll bring you for an add file link and then an add focus link the add file link you just gotta wait five seconds then hit skip add up in the top right don't click anything down here just in the top right and then that'll bring you to an Optifine page right here, which is right in the direct center of download Optifine 1.8.9. Click that, it'll automatically download. Then the next link is Add Focus. This one you'll also have to wait five seconds. And then up in the top right, it'll also say skip, but it's kind of hard to see sometimes. But yeah, you just hit skip right there. And then I'll bring you to a Mediafire link that I made. And these are the shader packs. So you just want to hit download 614.6 kilobytes. It's very small. And the shaders have 27 different shaders in them. That's why it's very cool. So you can just choose from a bunch of different ones and see what one runs best on your computer and see what one's your favorite. So after you have Boltrum installed, download, or whoops, push them on the desktop and then just minus your browser. And then what you want to do is make sure you have 7-zip or WinRAR installed. I'll have both the links for those in the description as well. You just download and then install them. It's that simple. But you want to right click on the Bunlick shaders Go down to 7-zip or WinRAR and then hit extract to bunlick shaders and then that'll just bring this file up and then don't do anything else with the bunlick shaders what you want to do is hit windows key plus r at the same time and it'll bring up this run menu and what you want to do is type in app data or whoops percent app data percent and then you want to hit ok and what that'll do this will bring you to where your minecraft directory is you just want to find dot minecraft it should be at the top or the bottom, but yeah, just got Minecraft, open that up, and then you want to make, or go down here, right click, hit new, go to folder, and then just make a new folder called mods, no capitals. I'll just overwrite mine. And then you want to open that folder up, drag the optifine.jar into there, and then just double click it. And then it'll bring up this menu, say install, it'll automatically install just like that, that, that simple. And then you want to open up your Minecraft launcher and make sure it actually installed correctly so what you want to do is go to profile and then choose optifine and that one auto chose it for me and then you just want to hit play after minecraft is open you want to go down here to options video settings and then if it says shaders details animations and all this weird jazzy stuff that means uh, you successfully installed optifine so now getting the shaders to work you want to click this tab shaders in video settings and then it'll say off and then internal down here it'll say open shaders pack folder you click that and it'll automatically open up the shaders pack folder so the next step is open up the bunlick shaders that you extracted to the desktop and then open up this again and then here's all the shaders so basically what you want to do is just select all of them and then just drag them over and now you'll see in game you have all of these shaders so yeah 27 of them it's a lot but my favorite is Silder's vibrant shaders it doesn't really have any lag at all and it looks just amazing so hit done and then I'll just load up my game for you guys to prove that it works okay so I'm in the game and I'm just gonna show you guys that it works this game looks so beautiful with shaders on so you can see all the lighting how much brighter it is it's just it's crazy it's it's really worth it honestly to download shaders um, it doesn't really take a much FPS, but yeah, this one is Silder's Vibrant Shaders, just for you guys to know if you guys want to use it. But yeah, there's 27 or 26 others. So yeah, choose choose from them, and um, I'm going to shake out the water. It looks really good. The water, see when you're underwater, it look, it, I don't even know how to explain it. just looks really good. And uh, I can't play Minecraft without it, and you can even see the water's waving. Coolest thing ever. This game looks amazing, and if you get like a resource pack... Um, I got this modern HD 64 by 64 one. Um, you can also do 512 texture packs. It's Fax um, 512. It looks so amazing. But yeah, you can see the modern texture pack. The water looks a little bit different because that's because of the texture pack. But yeah, it just, I don't know. It's amazing. You guys should download it. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, stay tuned for more tutorials like this and more Minecraft videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.